Gen Z is aging like milk. Okay, there's a trend going around where Gen Z is freaking out because they realize they look really old. Starting with this clip from Jordan the Stallion. Apparently, Gen Z is like aging really rapidly. It is mainly because of the stress. Come here. We live in a time nowadays where millennials look way younger for their age, while Gen Z looks way older for their age. If you don't believe me, I'm Gen Z. Get closer. I am Gen Z and nobody ever believes me. When my mom and I walk out in public, people think that my mom is my younger sister. Right? When I tell people, oh, I'm going to go hang out with my family, they think I'm talking about my children. I don't have kids. Right? I'm talking about my parents. I'm still the child. Does that make sense? I'll, I'll put it to you like this. Zendaya is older than me. Tom Holland is older than me. That's you know what I'm saying right now. There was one time I wanted an autograph from Dwayne the Rock Johnson, right? I was standing for hours for this autograph, and when he walked up to me, I said, Can you please sign this poster? It's for Jordan, right? He then took it and put, Dear Jordan, your dad is a great guy. He stood out here for hours and then gave it back to me. And before I can correct him, he looked at me and said, Times were way more difficult back when we were kids, am I right? And then he tapped my shoulder and left. Du Dwayne is 52. I am 26. You, what, what I'm saying is, so Gen Z definitely looks older. I'm not going to lie to you. Okay, so that guy's name is Jordan. He is 26 years old, and he's borderline Gen Z. Now, if you didn't know, the age range Gen Z is from 12 to 27, so he does actually qualify there. I think in, in his case, I think it's just a look he's gone for. Like, if you shave, you'll probably drop another 10 years. I'm pretty much the same. Like, with a beard, I look 55, but then if you shave it off, I look about 12. So it's not too bad i mean he still looks good and everything i think he's he's one of those guys who ages gracefully meaning at like 45 he'll probably look the exact same as he does now the way i screamed no when he said i'm gen z i screamed you said zendaya is older than me i would have never guessed you're only 26 my condolences gen z 26 what stress are y'all going through now the real problem comes when we start looking into these other posts this girl asked her audience what age she looked most guess 30s and 40s she's 22 respect Actually, you look like you're pushing 45. Stop getting filler or Botox, whatever you have. It looks so bad. 45? I get like, okay, maybe like late 20s, 30s. 22. Yeah. Shocker. When I first started TikTok and started making filler videos, like come get filler with me or Botox, I used to get these hate comments all the time. There's just people on TikTok that absolutely hate cosmetic procedures and believe that you shouldn't get them. And again, I think it's a personal preference. Like if I want to get filler, I feel like no one should stop you from getting filler because it's your own face. But people always told me that I look older and I get it. I look older. I might act older. Um, a 45 and before i used to cry over these comments and used to delete them and block the account but now i'm just like i just laugh at it because i know it's not true <laughs> um but I do respect your opinion. Okay, I just gotta say, as a completely neutral party over here, not trying to not trying to say anything, but yeah, she does actually look 45. I'd venture maybe even 55. And that's not an insult. I can't talk. I look like a freaking Goomba that got stomped on by Mario. I'm just being honest, like these TikTok comments, and this is probably a result of all these fillers or procedures that she's having done at such a young age. Yeah, I feel like nobody, literally nobody should be getting both times or fillers or any kind of work done on your face at the young age of 22. I feel like at least grow into yourself a little bit, right? At least, you know, spend a couple years working on yourself through, you know, the natural means of diet and exercise. And maybe, maybe you look up some of these goddamn looks mixing tutorials, start mewing 60 hours a day. I don't know. Okay. Anything's better than flipping, injecting shit.
into your faith, okay? These mega companies kind of guilt trip you into thinking you should be applying all these products every single day. If you don't apply them, you're going to die or something. You're going to look ugly. But then kind of the opposite happens. The people who end up staying very natural just naturally have good looks because, you know, that's the way our ancestors kind of did it. Here's some of the comments. Why the hell are you all getting fillers at 22? She does look 45. No one should stop her from getting fillers. Yes, I hope she's happy. Okay, this thing about, okay, yeah, you should be allowed to do what you want. But if this is the result, is that really what you want to do? I mean, sure, go ahead. If, if you want to if you want to look 45 at age 22, go ahead and do all this shit. Nobody's stopping you, but come on. We should be allowed to speak out against this. Believe it or not, even stuff like makeup is probably bad for you because there's a shit ton of chemicals that you should not be putting in your face, but it's just so normalized and that everybody's doing it and you feel like, hey, if this person's doing it, if I don't use it, I'm just going to look uglier than them. So that's why you kind of get in this rat race over here. But yeah, I, I just you know, I'd stay away personally. Okay. But I'm not, I'm a, I'm a guy. I'm a guy. So what, what do I know? Right. Oh my God. Saying she looks 45 is an insult to women who are 45 and look way better than this. She thinks looking 45, 22 is bad. Wait till she hits 45. She will look 100. She's lucky. No one said mid 50. Yeah. Twitter is even more ruthless than TikTok. Here's a quote tweet. What does 22 year old and so many others fail to realize that when they go for these trends, laminated brows, lash extensions, fake tan, Botox, filler, bleach, blood, etc. Is that they look like the old women that are trying to look young. Exactly. You get this sort of artificial look. Not saying that I've tried it. Okay, obviously I haven't tried it. I don't have personal experience, but I don't think you need personal experience. You can kind of see the results of this shit on social media. And you know, applying products on your face is one thing, but then, you know, some people take it too far with the plastic surgery. You know, we saw example one, example two, example three. You really want to turn out like these people? No, stay away. Okay, don't get influenced by South Korean doll look or like whatever these people are brainwashing you through social media. Watch Pegasus and stay sane, okay? This super blonde hair ages a lot of women too. Work with your coloring. Yeah, I'm sure the hair is the problem. I'm sure she needs to do even more work on herself. That is that is great advice right there. Come on, just stay away from the artificial shit. Eat, eat normal, normal, single ingredient, healthy foods, exercise, and maybe, maybe you can somehow wash this away. I don't know if exercise can fix this, honestly, because the damage seems to be done, but you know. And here we got yet another one of these videos where people are just complaining about getting called old. I was humbled so quick tonight. I was on live with my boyfriend and someone was like, how old's your girlfriend? And John jokingly responds 47. And the girl comments, oh, I thought she was early 30s. I am 23. That's probably the most offended voice I've ever heard. <laughs> yeah, she doesn't have it as bad as the other person, obviously. She just kind of looks like a mom. Definitely, yeah, I'd say, yeah, more 30s than 20s. But I feel like that's kind of the aesthetic she went for. Like, just the, the, the clothes, the dressing, the style. It just gives off more mom vibes, you know? This lady is my age, by the way, which which is weird. In my head, I'm still 15. I'm still a kid. Okay, I don't, I don't know. The fact that these people are my age, that's crazy, bro. Well, <laughs> maybe I'm... I'm going through a crisis right now. Uh. It's gotta be the microplastics, dog. It's it's definitely... Don't touch the receipt at your cashier. It's estrogenic, actually. People are just brutal. 23, I was thinking 33. I thought 35. I was thinking mid to late 30s. I'm thinking 35. Jesus, you don't need to be so honest. Ay, ay, ay. There's a fine line when it comes to baby Botox. Injections, fillers, and vapes are among the sneaky culprits making Gen Z look older than millennials. If you vape, I was about to say things that uh, cannot be said on YouTube, but you, you get my message. If you vape. All right. <laughs> if you vape. Okay. Experts warn as cosmetic procedures soar among the younger generation. It is not uncommon to see 18 year olds with lip filler. Heaven forbid my daughter gets 18 year old lip filler. Ay, 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 ay. Lord have mercy upon my soul. I will not be participating in society when I grow up. Ay, ay, ay. He added the 20 year olds are getting Botox and fillers, semi permanent makeup in the form of eyebrows and lips. These procedures combined can make you appear older, Perry said. And actually, once you start going down this route, it's very hard to go back to being entirely natural, especially when the affirmations start on social media. That's right. Get all your self-esteem from losers on social media, like TikTokers, Redditors, Twitters, TikTokers. And I said that twice. Okay. I have brain damage. Number one, guys, stop obsessing over your appearance. It just never ends well. Number two, stop putting trash in your body in the form of chemicals, processed foods, McDonald's, six 
billion ingredients, frozen food products. They're all poisoning you. They're all killing you. Number three, social media is going to roast you regardless of how you look. So don't take it too seriously. Don't take it to heart. Although there might be a little bit of truth to it. Okay. Number four, never get plastic surgery unless your face is literally burnt off and it hurts for people to look at you. Okay. Most people, just 99.9% .9 of people do not need it. Okay. It'll just make you feel worse. Love yourself. Be happy. Be healthy and subscribe for maximum intellectuals. I'll see you guys in the next video. Click this video or I explode. <laughs>